Ja, hei igjen alle sammen. Dette får bli hovedintervjuet i dag. Jeg har tenkt å la denne personen ved siden av meg snakke litt om hva som er virkelig det store på Messa i år. Det er hundrevis av leverandører, og de kommer til å eksportere til Europa. Dette kommer til å bli kjempestort. Den personen jeg har ved siden av meg i dag heter Herb Lewis. Han har vært i bransjen i fantastisk mange år, med mange store kjente firmaer. Han har vært og besøkt oss i Norge flere ganger. Jeg har vært i Amsterdam med ham. Han er en god underviser. Han har jobbet for, som sagt, for de store, kjente firmaene. Han er legendarisk i bransjen. Så med det skal jeg introduere deg, Chris. Takk for å sitte ned med meg. Takk, Stein. Godt å se deg, sir. Likevis. Herb. You have been in this business for how many years now? 38 years selling herbal wines. Okay, so it's mostly herbs, but also Hence some vitamins. Yeah, also some, uh, yeah, herb. Nutritional <laughs> supplements, broad spectrum of nutritional supplements, specializing yeah. in herbs yeah. and supercritically extracted herbs. Supercritical extraction are also a way to extract the som er stort og som kommer til å bli enda større og som er vesentlig bedre enn absolutt alle andre metoder å ekstrahere på, uansett hva dere måtte bli fortalt. Jeg kommer til å skrive mer om dette i en artikkel også, men det kan vi da ta litt senere. Så Herb, over til you again. Why did you change to the CBD? Understanding the power of herbal healing. Uh, the newest research on the most potent anti-inflammatory and healing herb is hemp. Hemp is an amazing grass, herb, and it contains within it a series of cannabinoids, especially something called cannabidiol, which is CBD. And CBD has amazing properties in building homostasis and balance in systems from brain and nervous system to skin and gut, uh, blood sugar, bone strength, etc. It's a great immune modulator, and it builds health. Most people take concentrated CBD from the hemp herb uh, uh, for pain, and then secondarily for uh, chronic depression or anxiety, and it works great. And so the, the category is booming. Um, in Norway, we are not allowed to say a lot of things. But because we're in America, I will anyway. The freedom of speech. We say freedom what we speech. want. We say what we want. Um, when it comes to cancer, which is a big issue in Norway, with the with the, these kind of oils, um, do you think that CBD alone has some as good properties to treat the cancer as well? I will say this: all immune cells have thousands and thousands of what are called CB2 receptor sites. And these are the receptors where the CBD, the cannabidiol from hemp, plugs in and activates them. So one of the great known values of CBD is that it modulates, including upregulating the immune system. So it offers great kind of uh, the ability of the body to normalize and balance itself. It's a great adjunct to any immune imbalance. Not a cure for cancer, but definitely a great benefit. And people even suffering from cancer have shown, and research has shown, great results along that, those lines. You choose a company that's, uh, that's, that's making pure CBD without any THC. Right. And I foresee in um, the future in Norway that this will be legal quite soon. I don't understand why it wouldn't be legal now. Well, <laughs> this is an innocent herbal. It Neither has do great health, health properties. Uh, there are no side effects. The worst side effect, even if you took a massive dose, you might be a little groggy, maybe. Generally, at the right dose, from 2 milligrams to 80 milligrams in that range, that you will get a sense of restful alertness, as opposed to cannabis or marijuana, which is a different category, which makes you groggy or dizzy. CBD from hemp has no THC. It makes you clear. Restful alertness. It helps you sleep if the, if it's time for the brain to go to sleep. But in the morning, it wakes you up, makes you clear, it gets rid of pain, reduces anxiety. It has wonderful effects for everyone. It works on all mammals, humans, dogs. Get benefit. I was I was actually going to talk with you about that because um, you know I'm a dog owner. I'm a dog lover. Yeah. I own dogs. Always yeah. have. 
And when they're getting old, older, they started to have aches and pains as you and I have. So we should also give them the benefit of the CBD oil. 35% of our business at Green Gorilla, my hemp company, is with pet stores. Dogs do phenomenally well, which very quickly will end them, and probably better than in humans. Uh, one of the things, even for younger dogs, is when they're yapping and barking and running around, it settles them down, sometimes within a minute or two. And when dogs very often get tense and anxious, maybe storms, thunder, firecrackers. Or New Year's Eve New in Year's Norway. New Year's Eve in Norway yeah. or China or the 4th of July in the <laughs> yeah. United States. Yeah, yeah. This will help relieve their uh, anxiety and trauma. It works right away on anxiety and, as you mentioned, chronic pain, hip dysplasia, mm -hmm. hip issues, very, very effective for dogs. Um, we have been debating um, in Norway to give this to children or not. And, you know, and, you know, you know AD, HD, no problems, are huge in the whole Scandinavia. Yeah. Would you hesitate to give it to children? Why? I'm just asking. Well, n the answer is, of course, no. But the reason people would have that feeling or that fear is they weren't well educated in it, is they might confuse it with the benefits of cannabis, mm -hmm. which has psychotropic properties. You would never give it to a dog or a child. It would be wrong to do that. It might have benefit for an adult. But we want to separate ourselves from the cannabis. We are herbal here. Yeah. It has no side effects. It has no psychotropic products, or properties, I should say. The Green Gorilla brand, for example, is proven by assay to have no THC. It have high activity levels, none. It says on the box, THC-free. Mm -hmm. So this is excellent for children, especially ADHD or other kind of problems so they can avoid taking so many in America, they're on. Oh, they're on the lots six of drugs. To ten in years yeah, old, yeah, yeah. they're taking anti-anxiety yeah. uh, type of medicines. Hemp could be a wonderful uh, remedy for that problem. So we are talking about a broad spectrum of diseases, mental disorders, dogs, cats, other animals, maybe even horses. Definitely horses. We have an equine line. Oh, you have something for horses we, as well? Absolutely, we do. We're great with uh, racing greyhounds, racing thoroughbreds, nervous, anxious horses. It's great effect on horses. So we should actually get the veterinaries on board this yes. as oh, yeah. well. In Not America, only the medical doctors, in America, but the veterinaries that's, as well. In America, that's happening quite fast. That's happening, yeah. happening quite oh, fast. Yeah. Do you think that our authorities will be able to stop this? Because this is a wave. It's a wave coming. No, it's, it's hugely interesting because the research is clear that it shows benefits and no side effects. More than that, the anecdotal experience of literally hundreds of thousands of people who depend on their CBD for either their anxiety or their chronic pain so they don't have to take perhaps addictive pain medication, etc. This is huge business. And uh, uh, it's at 700 million U.S. dollar sales now. It's going to 7 billion by 2021. 7 billion Time for dollars. Norway to get busy and keep these people healthy. We could grow this in Norway. Norway has perfect conditions for growing hemp. It would be a fantastic crop. Yeah. Grows a full four feet in four months. And it is a, 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 an accumulator, which means it will clean up the environment that it's in. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can use it to make plastic and rope and, and concrete. cloth and, and concrete. concrete, which you can is build one, of the, from one of the dirtiest yeah. ingredients ever is concrete. Plastic is destroying our oceans. Hemp plastic dissolves in 10 to 12 weeks. So this, this is, this is it's something going to grow the on the planet. It's going to be a great adjunct to helping to heal the planet as well as healing people and our pets. Why do you think this was stopped for such a long time? Yeah, I think it's because cannabis was illegal. It was against the law. And in America and many countries, you weren't even allowed to research it. So we, the benefits of hemp were hidden from us. It was not research. In the last six or seven years, a good two or three dozen peer-reviewed uh, crossover university studies published are out there on benefits from anxiety to pain to blood sugar imbalances, bone density, and skin health. So we know it works now. And I think it's just burgeoning now because the legality of cannabis 
and the research from Israel and Europe and the United States is showing its benefit. So it's now. So it's a great future. So um, I hope Herb, that we can see you in Norway again I'd doing love some to. teaching. I'd love to. With your new company. Beautiful. Green and, Gorilla. Uh, it'll be great to have you in Norway again. Thank so, you. guys, this is cool. Let's bring this to Norway and to Scandinavia. So, Herb, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. See you in Norway.